harder, stronger, faster. What's up guys, Mimosa Pudica update here. They have several other names for it in Indy and Hindi and all those other languages of India. So one of the commenters on one of my Mimosa Pudica videos, I appreciate it a lot. They said, it looks like you can get the same stuff, same quality on eBay for a lot cheaper. So I found a seller on eBay and sure enough, they ship it from India and they sell one gram, one and a half gram packages as a sample for like a buck fifty, just so that you could try it out. And so I got mine a month later, which happened to be two days ago now. I opened up the package and suddenly most of that gram and a half was on my sweater. Let's see here. Not nice, right? So yes, I did order 500 grams, like half a pound more, because when I tried it, it was the same Mimosa Pudica, and um, the only thing I could say different was maybe it seemed a little bit not as fresh, but other than that, it seemed to work just as well, and I mean, it felt like it went down just the same. But yeah, this is really lame. I didn't like that. Uh, so I left a note, please ship in better packaging than the gram sample. So hopefully it'll be packaged a lot better. So when I found out that this stuff was also called La Jawante or La Wante or La Hu Jawantu, I don't know how to say it. But anyways, in the description of the buyer, it actually listed this stuff as... Uh, treatment for premature ejaculation, which I thought was funny, and I was like, well, if it gets rid of parasites, that's the important thing, right? But anyways, I'll take all the other added benefits as they come, right? Oh dang, no pun intended. But yeah, it looks like that may be the way to go, in my opinion, because when I was taking it in capsule form, it's it seemed like it went the capsule itself um, made it go by a lot of things that it should have in my opinion destroyed because as soon as I took like a spoonful and drank water with it I noticed a significant difference in passing and stomach gurgling and things dying and passing that should have been gone long ago um, and it felt like it ended up flushing something uh, out of my bowels into out of my upper intestine or my small intestine I should say into my large intestine as if one was like okay well hey I'm mature enough to go down there and that one's been bothering me a little bit but I, I'm pretty sure I passed that one but um, now uh, I actually did a coffee talk update if you're not familiar with my coffee talk playlist maybe you'd want to watch that again uh, or at least catch the latest one, which I simply named Consistency, because it looks like my Coffee Talk playlist is a little bit off. There's like, uh, Coffee Talk number five is missing. I don't know if I just deleted it, or if it got removed, or what happened, but it looks like I go from four to six in the Coffee Talk series. But anyways... Um, without trying to repeat a lot of that stuff that I talked about there... Mimosa pudica seems to be still some of the most effective stuff at killing these parasites. The zapper itself has been so crucial, and I'm probably going to get two or three other ones because they talk about how good it is for any other situation that you might encounter. A lot of people say they can get rid of sinus problems. Let's see, what are they? What was it? A sinus infection is what was claimed to have been eradicated within a day or two. So that's pretty amazing. They also said you got a headache and you just set it next to your head because it increases blood flow to your head. Um, if you got a toothache, you could just put it on your jaw, which that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Um, it seems like it would make a lot of sense. 
And also, it seems like when I first got the the zapper, that the battery burned out so fast. And I wonder if it's just because my body like completely used it up and like sucked it and drained the energy out of it. Because since then, the battery that I've used... I know they were all brand new batteries, too. Since then, the battery that I've been using has lasted a lot longer. And I also clean the contacts daily. Just because I want to make sure I'm sending the most signal through my body just to maximize the benefits. And it's really simple. You just take a Q-tip and a little bit of lemon juice, and that cleans the uh, copper connectors really easily. And, by the way, if you wanted to clean copper in any other form, you could really just use uh, vinegar and salt. That works amazing. Um, yeah, copper is pretty amazing. I've been looking at getting some copper cups or a copper pitcher from India as well because there's Ayurvedic benefits to that. In Ayurvedic medicine, they say that it is beneficial for your thyroid, beneficial for helping you lose weight, beneficial for purifying water. Just let the water sit in there for six to eight hours. And you only need like eight ounces a day. You don't have to drink the whole dang pitcher. Um, the biggest problem I see is a lot of people end up complaining online about the inside of those things turning black. Um, so a lot of the cups you find here in America that are, they, you look at them and the outside's copper, but the inside's stainless steel. So it's like a copper plated outside and that doesn't have the same health benefits. I am down for stainless steel, drinking containers, etc. but for the most benefits, copper, there's other reasons, you know, but yeah, so the, the tarnish happens rather quickly depending on the style and the cup. So either a little bit of warm water and a little bit of lemon juice or cold water and a little bit of lemon juice and some a little bit of scrubbing cleans it up really nice. Or, like I said, salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar chips, man. Delicious. Anyways, guys, I think that'll be it. Just wanted to share that Mimosa Pudica seed update with you. And uh, so, yeah, it looks like I'm not going to get it until close to the end of March that package and they say uh, I think I've read no another commenter actually actually said that um, it's best if you take it for three months so it's probably a good idea and yeah guys capsulated I don't think is as effective as just taking a spoonful but the bottom line is if you try and do it by the spoonful you have got to drink lots of water and it's got to be very close by because it can be hard to swallow. If you have problems swallowing, you probably shouldn't even mess with this.